for your attendance. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, would you like uh, would you like to open your camera, everybody, so that I'll see if you're here or not? Thank you very much. Can you hear me very well? Um, itap kong microphone and tell me sino din na may internet. Okay, si ano na, si Solano. Solano, tell me if gagana ang pagtap ko sa microphone, okay? Is it is it working? Ang ano, sir, what is sir? Ang pagtap ko sa microphone, is it working? Gatap man. Not sure what's oh, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm just and I'm just making sure that if it's um if my audio is coming from the microphone itself, kika gina encounter ko problem. My lap sa laptop gali gambal. All right. So since everybody's here, sit. Ah, uh, imute ko lang ha. Ang um, mga ano sa manok. Basi matula ko la sa oras block. Okay. Um, so good afternoon everybody. Uh, this is going to be another Zoom meeting. As you can see, I'm not um, at school. Eh, wala na kami gin pa work dito sa school. Dari na kami sa mga puloy anamon. So as you can see, I'm here. So today, we're going to discuss about um, another topic in research, in practical research too. And um, I told you, I have sent you already videos that will be used uh, for the discussion of the different topics, okay? So the videos that I have sent to you, as far as I can remember, um, the, there, there are five lessons discussed already on those videos, right? Lesson one until lesson five, right? The most recent video that I have sent to you discussed about lesson two, three, four, and five. So, ah, pato ka lessons tanan. I can send ko na dala sa inyo, so I hope you're going to watch it, and it will help you in the in in formulating in making your research. And 
let me just inform you that ang inyong subject na III, uh, sila na class ang ma-approve sa inyong title. Ay, hello, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Makaong ka mo, guys. It's a uh, Saba. Saba. Okay, thank you. Hindi na ako magkawin. May mga Saba. Mga... Okay. So, muni class. Nakakadlog <laughs> yung psycho. Ang ay, 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 ang subject, um, amun na sila kasi ma-approve of uh, the final research title nga inyo i-study. Right? So, as what I said, ang ay, 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 nga inyo nga subject and practical research 2 will come together. Ang inyo practical research 2, which um, under SACON, would all just talk about, will discuss how you make your practice how you make your paper. Okay? So, amun ang practical research too. In III, as what you can see, um, naka-answer na kamuguro, worksheets lang nasa class. Okay? So, it means, ang application sa learnings yung natunan from practical research too will be applied in III. Alright. So, I have a question numbered. Um, sino ka ninyo nga, ano, nga prakti- uh, III? Si Mambasia, no? Thumbs up, be? Eh. Mambasia, sir. Mambasia. Right, yes. Yeah. Si Ma'am Basia, inyong, ano, inyong ay, ay, ay. So, um, I have a question. Nakahatag na siya sa inyo sa final niyong research title. Like, daw gin feedback. You know, tagaan niya na kamo feedback of what should be your research title. Okay, di ba? Sa akon, mga ganit na subject, gin pa, gin pa send ko kamo sa tatlo ka-possible research title. Okay? Ang una to topic, tungkin pa ngayon ko, di ba? Then after the topic, I told you to make a title. Okay? So, may tatlo na kamong ginhatag sa akong nga title. Which, I know, ginhatag nyo man na kay Mambasia ninyo because may ara man kamo dito nga activity in which you're going to give um, a title sa iya. Now, I have a question. Gintagaan nyo na kamong feedback? Uh, yes. Going to answer Mogar? Dula, pato feedback, sir. Ano pa lang po siya gin pamangkot? Yan lang kami. Tapos gintagaan niya kami mga questions nga kinanglan sa abdan. Alright, so wala pa ka mo git research title nga final. Wala pa sir. Wala. Alright, so um let's just wait sa iya nga sa iya nga ano, sa iya nga tawag di, sa iya nga paghamba sa aton, okay, sa inyo if what is what could be the final research title that you need to study. Because uh amo nang inyo nga magiging um ano man, um ang basis for my own score nga yatag sa inyo for practical research 2. Now, practical research 2 class, um, ang aton subong uh, in both III and PR2, tandaan ninyo nga uh, like ang aton nga uh, performance task would be the chapter 1 and chapter 2. Okay? So you are all expected to do and to make your chapter 1 and chapter 2 this first quarter. Okay? Or this third quarter. Okay, ang first and second quarter, ligad pa to. So, third quarter na siya. So, in the third quarter, dapat may chapter 1 and chapter 2 na kamo. Okay? Um, I know it's not going to be easy, pero um, let's hope that you can do it and you can pass it before the deadline. Okay? Um, today, we are just, uh, dali lang. In, the, in all the groups nga naghatag sa akong sang research titles, nga possible nga research title may ara na dito uh, may ginaay na ka mga possible na gid nga final yun na gid nga research title where's group 1 sino mga group 1 de unmute your mic be group 1 si Mogar group 1 si Flores yes si Bullios all right um group 1 do you have any ano na uh, like research title dito out sa ngin panghatag nyo nga do possible nyo na nga himoon naka meeting na ka mo may tatlo na kami yung ginapilian sir tatlo na siya ginapilian na, tatlo. pero ang isa lang yes, din sir. ang ginapamangkot kung do ginaay nyo wala pa sir na ngayon pa kami advice kay ma'am sir alright ano inyo topic nga gin pamutang Alright, so yun na nga, eh, pag-sub ng topic, kayo daw medyo, yun yung panasaulo siguro, okay? Pero, 
uh, amo na class ha amo na atong ano sa ibang mga groups i hope that by this time already may ara na kamo ginaay nga final ninyo nga topic and research title okay um we are just going to have a quick ano lang um presentation and discussion of uh, the next lesson sa inyong module which is going to be which is entitled uh statement of the problem or a uh, uh, quantitative research problem okay how do you identify your research problem how do you uh, make research questions okay so amo na nga tong discussable and i hope na taga discussion may uh, gasunod ba nang ayun yung teacher sa pag discuss all right gina watch mo nang video sa youtube nga ginapang ano ko gina pang send Yung mga wala, gid ka watch mo. May isa to ka um, video. Pero wala ko pa sa nalang tao sir. Okay. May isa to ka video nga very long gid siya. Pero it discusses four lessons already. Okay. Ginisa ko na lang para dire-dire sa ang learnings. Right. Ang so, latest to sir. Uh, ang latest. Yes. Medyo lawin siya. Ang latest siya. na video. Oo. Ang latest. So, we're going to discuss na about uh, just here. I put the thumbs up if you are seeing my screen. Thank you. Para mabalaan ko if it's working. All right. So, uh, we are going to discuss now. Um, in the previous lessons that we have tackled, we studied about uh, lesson one, what is a research, right? An inquiry. Lesson two, um, we talked about quantitative research. Lesson three, we talked about uh, experimental research. Four, non-experimental research. Then five, variables. Ang apat, nga una, nga apat, nga pang mention ko, were all topics or lessons regarding the nature of research. Okay? Kung anong meaning sang research, anong types of research, and whatsoever. Ang fifth one, okay, the variables. If you are going to watch the video, I I have talked about it as well. And um, ang variables na class, amo na class ang included gina sa research niya, right? Included gina class ang variable because um, ibutang niya sa research. So, amo nang basihan niyo of your um, later on sa mga statistical tools niyo. Okay, ang variables. So, I hope you are going to watch it because ang variables sa research importante para ma-identify ninyo kung anong ginamessure nyo. Okay? Kag anong gusto nyo nga i-measure. Kag anong gusto nyo tagaan sa meaning. Alright? Now, let's continue discussing about the uh, nature of quantitative research problem. But before we go to that, I would like to announce lang uh, in the, hopefully, on Wednesday meeting, di ba may meeting naman tabi, Wednesday, Ma-meet na lang ko per group na lang. Alright? So per group na lang na ako ma-meet and to ask some updates and progress regarding your research. Class, if you're not going to, uh, what do you call this? If you're not going to work on your research, na ginapalangan lang na nyo lang, you're going to have a hard time later on. Okay? Uh, especially if you're going to pass it, lapit na lang ang deadline, you're going to have a hard time. Okay? Basi, ma-reject in your ideas, ma-reject in your inubrahan because it's not it's not correct. Okay? So, I hope uh, by this time, you know, work in na. Now, um, let's discuss the nature of quantitative research problem. Any idea of what is a research problem? Who can answer? Yes, hake. Uh, Monster ang ito isabat uh, isabtan nyo sa research ng problema sa research oh. nila. Di, ano, pro, di may problema ka? Monster? <laughs> ano yan? Anong problema? Mo bala, oh, kung may problema, kung may minabat siya ka ng problema, uh, for example, mga kotanta ka, anong problema mo, subong? Wala. 
Well, wala, imposible. Ano ka, perfect? Like, for example, sa education mo, be. May mga problems? Madali, ang kalisitahan, taka. Ah, oh, sige. Ano ang problem sa education? Subang? Oo. For example, oh, okay. tagaan ka sa chance, tagaan ka sa chance, be, for example, nga, uh, di ba kayo ang, ang problem mo uh, education, sa education. So, tagaan ka certain topic in education, anong gusto mo i-discuss it? sa ano about education ang the way we learn to day sir okay ang ano ang specific gid ang ano for example online learning okay for example online learning be mo nga ano ang napili mga topic for example sir ka problema ka about sa education tapos kay to gusto ta ka brown research so Gin pa man ko taka ano nga specific nga problem in education ang imo nga ano ang imo gin ginaproblemahan so magsabat ka be online learning okay so your online learning nga pagsabat mo could actually serve as your topic already okay do topic mo na, na now i have a question okay may problem ka na in online learning na identify mo ng problem o in on nga may problem ka sa online learning now identify the specific problem in online learning ano yun ang specific problem mo in online learning ang um, sir mga connection mga connection sa connection like internet connection damo na oh. okay so mangkotong taka Um, ano ang gusto mo maano? Uh, wait lang, kami nagsulod. Anong gusto mo mabalaan about sa connection problems in online learning? Kung paano ma-resolve? Kung? Anong gusto mo mabalaan? Paano ma-solve? Aside sa paano ma-solve, kaya mo nang end result ng research. Anong gusto mo mabalaan sa connection ng problem? Uh, ha? Huh? Nga ah, hina ang net? Hindi ka may nabatian, Haki? Mga reason, sir. Sayin. Ah, re- reasons nga hinay ang net. Okay? So there, class, pwede ka na actually makakandak research Just regard by just identifying first kung diin kagid ang pinaka-interesado ka, alright? Ang pinaka-interesado mo nga ibaloon, di ba? Um, sometimes in life, we are thrown a lot of challenges and a lot of of questions, right? Gina-question ta if why do we why do we experience this negativity? Why do we experience this positivity? Why why do we think I have this success? Okay, may mga pamangkot kita in our in ourselves and we can actually answer it okay all by ourselves alone however research is different from just asking question and answering it right away okay research needs to have investigation research needs to have step by step process kung paano natin mabalaan ang sabat sa aton mga ginapamangkot so si Hake hambalya may problem daw sa education Education on top of it. What specific uh, term or topic in education? Sambal niya, online learning. Alright. So what specific, pagid, narrow it down para makalabot kid, sa very specific nga question na gusto mo sabdon. So online learning. Then after online learning, ano gusto mo mabalan about online learning? Sambal niya, connection problems. Alright. So there is connection problems already. So lapit ka na lang. So what do, what do you want to know about connection problems? na narrow down niya sa very specific gid what could be the reasons why students kumbaga experience connection problems so in that manner that could actually serve as a research already okay pwede ka na makaano pwede ka na makaconduct research using step by step scientific and um um empirical um process kay para tuloy systematic nga process 
okay? Para maging valid ang imo nga claim kung ano man na ang ma- makuha mo sa ulihi ng mga rason nga uh, hinang internet connection at least valid sa kay gin-research mo gid siya. All right? So, amo na. It is um let's continue. Thank you so much Hake for um answering some question. You were put on the spot but you were able to answer. Next. Nature of quantitative research problem. Life is not always a bed of roses. It is made of both negative and positive aspects of life, right? Uh, experiencing something negative or making you fail to aver or affirm the existence of a thing you expected or happened is a natural occurrence in life, diba? We all experience worries, perplex- uh, perplexities, and we call it a problem, right? By nature, all of us humans are problematic Uh, problematic uh, entities, di ba? We are experiencing problems from time to time. Once you encounter a problem, being an inquisitive, speculative, and creative person, you immediately would like to find ways and means to free yourself from such question or conundrum in your life. Okay? So sparked by your curiosity and interest, you get to ponder on a problem needing answer. Pareto ka ginas ng inubra ni Hake. You resort to thinking of what to solve. Anong isolve? Okay? Hambala para mabalaan daw kung mga connection problems. Whom to ask? Sino mga pamakuton to sa mga connection problems? Just for example lang ha. Okay? Where, of course, the students, the respondents. Okay? Where pwede mga ni teachers. Alright? Where to go? Where to go? Sa diin, i-conduct ang study. Alright? Of course, for example, hindi ka man makakandak, you, you will have a hard time if you conduct it sa, ano, sa bilog ng uh, senior high school in the Philippines. So just identify your respondents. Okay? Set a limit. A delimit- the scope and delimitation of your study. Maganda the scope and delimitation of your study. Kung sa diin ka lang. Sa diin lang astang imo nga research. Okay, nga ibutang sa imo, nga ibutang ang mga details and information there. Okay? So para hindi ka mabudlay yan, just specify the target respondents. For example, whom to ask? Are yo? Uh, where where to go? For example, so just identify nga uh, for example sa mga taga bilang, not the entire Philippines, right? And how to do all the things you want to happen and find the answer to the problem. Okay? So you need to take na certain steps and measures para maano para ma- ma- makakam up kasi isa ka answer right behaving this way you are then confronted with a research problem a research problem is something that nurtures in your mind a difficulty or uncertainty enough to push you to do an empirical investigation magamba kita empirical investigation duga pa mangpo tigid wala mabusising pag uh, uh, pagtatanong Okay? or paghahanap ng sagot para maano mo para mabalaan mo gid kung ano ang answer sa imo nga ginapamangkot all right whereby you search for answers to a problem by collecting by collecting and analyzing data or information through which you can find the right answer or solution your research will not be successful without the cooperation of your respondents okay or without the observation that you're going to make Okay? without data to back you up of whatever you claim na result sa imong research. Okay? So, dapat may ara kagid sang respondents or imo nga um, um, pruweba. Okay? Yes. So, requiring you to adopt an empirical attitude toward your problem in a way that you depend on your sensory experience, conduct experimentation, or perform a scientific method in arriving at the truth about something makes your problem a researchable problem. So, kas mga bagita researchable problem, it's not only answerable by yes or no. E na pa naman mangkot ka lang bala. Are students, uh, uh, ano gani? Are John B. Lacson students enrolled in in enrolled in maritime subjects happy in the way the lesson is being delivered okay so if that is the question 
oh, for example, i ano ta, i shorten ta ang question. Are you happy? Okay? Sa sa question are you happy? It's only answerable by yes or no. 'Di ba kay are you gani? However, in re- a research problem must not only be that kind of question. Na answerable by yes or no. Ka hindi na sa researchable if that is the case. Okay? Kay maka-answer ka lang dayon. However, you can ask questions like how many students, for example, how many students are enjoying their their course, their maritime related subject na course. Okay? Or their maritime related subjects ng mga nga topics, okay? So how many students? So in that manner, it's researchable. Kay panitaon mo kung pila ka bilog. Okay? Hindi ka lang mamangkot na are you? Are you are you? Yes or no lang. Okay? However, it's researchable because maka-answer sa makahatag sa sang data, sang further information. That's why it's researchable. Okay? All right. So, let's continue. Class mapatay na just um, go to the group chat and uh, join in the same link. Okay? Sa so the same link lang naton nga gin nga gin obra. Ang ah, gin nga gin send ko agina. Right? So sources of quantitative research problems. So what are the things? Anong where could we find things para maging inspiration naton for us to get or for us to identify the research problem that we need to have. Okay? For example, pwede kita makapangita sa mga agencies of the government or any any non-government institutions. Ano mga problema in the agencies of the government or miskin mga non-government institution? Anong magkakabatsagan nga problema? For example, okay? So pwede ka makahambal nga uh, studyan mo ba? For example, um, the satisfaction rate of Filipinos in Duterte's implementation of Um, dolomite sand dito sa Manila. For example, ang munang research mo. So, that's still government and non-governmental institution. For example, um, how many um, how many what is the percentage of dip, of DepEd teachers for example, of DepEd teachers are um, involved in outside business like Um, selling appliances, for example, or selling uh, appliances, ngamuna, or selling other products. Okay, so in that manner, class, that would be uh, that could be a problem already. Okay, mga magita problem, kasi hindi magita super nga problem, magit bala nga negative dayon nga problem. Okay, pwede ka man yaka ano bala, pwede ka man ka research bala ma- about positive things, for example. Um, imo yung ano uh, effectiveness of effectiveness of peer tutoring, for example, okay? Effectiveness of peer tutoring in the maritime competency level of of mari- of JBLFMU or Avalo High School senior high school students, for example. So kung magwa sa imo yung class nga ano, magwa sa imo yung class nga result is positive, okay? Um, it means na ang problem, hindi malang sa'yo ga-evolve around positive, uh, negative things. Alright? Hindi makahatag ka lang ginsang answer of your uh, of the question na napili mo nga answeran. Okay? So, ang muna ganit ginang Vanilla, even though you do not have a problem in research, you, you really have to have a problem. Because if you don't, you will not have any result. Okay? Number two, your own experience or genuine interest in something. Okay? The most important thing about identifying your research problem is you have to be very interested in your topic. Okay? Because if ang interest class is the main determinant in achieving the good result of your research or the exact result of your research. Because class, if hindi ka interesado sa ginpili mong topic, Probably, along the way, habang kaubrakas ang research mo, kapuyon ka, and hindi ka naman padayon in whatsoever. Alright? Or, dayaan mo na lang ang mga, ang mga, ang mga data nga na-collect mo, ginadaya-daya mo lang. And in that manner, um, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya valid and reliable. So, dapat, interesado ka sa topic. Ano ginang gusto mo mabalaan sa certain nga topic nga na? Okay? gusto mo gin mabala ipursu ang research problem nga na because that really um, interest you as a person okay, or as a student okay 
may mga mabuligan ka ba lang ang tao if you are able to solve that problem or you're able to give answer to that topic or research problem. Okay? Number three, re previous research findings which you want to validate or consider a study suffering from some inconsistencies or discrepancies. Amo na klase ng iba ng mga research could actually have, could actually be based from another research. Okay? So, kay kay karon kung do isa-isa hon ta ginang research um, like sa bilog nga kalibutan ng mga bagay-bagay basi hindi ta makayanan ba class. Amon as sometimes nga out of a certain research, abi sa certain research nga ni ang topic kaya is all about um um uh, is all about marriage. Okay? Ang iya bi pamangkot ya um how many iyang yung pamangkot be if um how many children for example are affected by or um what is the what is the effects what is the effect of um the divorce okay or inconsistent nga uh, inconsistent relationship of both parents what is that effect on a child okay so for example amo nang isa ka research kay na studyhan na na so ang isa ka research mangita naman sang iban nga ang isa ka research mangita naman sa ibang nga topic that could actually be related to that for example mamangkot naman sabi um um what is the effect or what is the percentage of filipino couples um getting or involving in divorce okay So for example, amo naman na iya class ang ano, amo naman na class ang another nga perspective sa amo na nga problem. Okay? Pero about mo sa gapon sa marriage or divorce. Sa isa to about sa bata, diriya sa isa ka research nga gusto mo studyan about sa um, percentage of um pila ka bilog nga Pinoy ang ang gaka-encounter or okay, or ang ga-involve sa divorce. Alright? So lapit na lang ni mapatay, so kung mapatay ni um 